One of the best ways to maximize an online meeting is using some of the online tools available in various web conferencing. For this video, I'm going to be using Zoom.us, and I'll share some of the cool things that you can do. The first thing that most people know about is the screen share. Now, when thinking about screen sharing, there's a couple best practices I want you to keep in mind. So I'll switch over so you can see what I do. Now you see my virtual background. You don't need a green screen. It looks a little bit off, but it's much better than showing what might be back there like your kitchen or various other unprofessional things. But when doing your screen share, there's some other things that you need to look out for. So at the bottom middle, you'll click on this. You have a couple options. You could share the different videos that are up, but I prefer that you just choose the window that you want them to see. The other thing to look out for is the bottom left. You have share computer sound. This is something that will show you the value of sharing a video or audio, and it will come through instead of you having just the sound pick up from your mic and your computer speakers. It sounds much better. The other thing that you can start using is the whiteboard or go over into the advanced settings where you could even share the content from a second camera if you want multiple angles from the one person that's showing it. So when doing screen share, the thing that I'd like you to look out for is try not to share your entire desktop. The reason why is that if your viewer is on a laptop and you're on an extended screen, everything will look way too small. And there could be some unprofessional things that you don't want them to see, like messages popping up, etc. Which brings us to another best practice, turn off your notifications. Now, the way that you do this on a Mac is you just click on the top right part and you can say, do not disturb, and that will stay on for 24 hours. Now, Windows, there's different ways and different structures on how to do it, but either way, make sure that if your messages or Slack or other things are bubbling up, you turn that off at the beginning. The other thing that I want to introduce you to are some of the really cool ways that you can engage using Zoom. Now, when I'm doing a training or reinforcing best practices in a team meeting, I'll pull up something called polling. Now, in here, what I do is I would teach something and then pop quiz. This pops up and you would not be surprised how many people just get glued to the screen. If they're starting to get distracted or you know, losing a little bit of interest, when you put up a pop quiz like this, it can be really powerful. So practice doing that if you know you're gonna do more of a teaching session or you wanna reflect or ask people's opinions in a simple way. One other thing that we look out for is chat. This is really valuable when you're trying to engage a, a big group, maybe over 40 people in a meeting. It's really hard when it's just one person talking at everybody else the whole time. So use chat to share best practices, highlight key moments, have someone else put in the notes or monitor it for questions, and this can be a really powerful use case. But my favorite and probably most underused tool, especially for group online meetings of at least five people, is the use of the breakout rooms. Now, this is something you have to turn on in the advanced settings, but if you go into breakout rooms, you can choose to either automatically assign or manually assign people. And I usually like putting two or three people in a room to just discuss two minutes on this exercise. And this type of technique is really powerful for online meetings because you can get everybody's opinion, come back, share some best practices, instead of it just being too big where some people don't want to participate. So consider using that whenever you have your next larger group online meeting and have fun with it. There's some other things like the reactions where you can show a thumbs up or uh, clapping, I guess not waving, but these types of things can really make your online sessions feel amazing. 